Okay, so this program will show you how to format output um, from a text file. So we're going to start with just a simple input file. Um, just has some items and prices in a list. And then what we want is to end up with this, where it just lists the items and then the numbers, just in more of a, a better layout than this one. So to do that, we start with just importing the necessary packages. So we have file, um, file not found exception, um, print writer for output, and scanner for the input. <clears throat> so we'll prompt the user just for the names of the files and then store those here. And uh, what we're gonna do is we need to compute the total. So we'll just declare that here and then we'll start reading the input from the file. So while in dot has next line, so you'll read each line and string line equals in dot next line. And we'll set a boolean of found to false and we'll come back to see why we do this is um, to see which lines have a colon. Uh, so then you know that there's actually items on these lines and not this one. Um, <clears throat> so we'll come back to that, but then we'll do string item, just an empty string and double price equals zero. So for int i equals uh, zero, while found is false and i is less than line dot length, increase i by one. Okay, <clears throat> so each time you go through uh, char ch, equals line dot char at i. So this will look at each character in the file. And if uh, if it finds a colon right here, then it sets found to true. So then you know that's, um, that's when you know it's line with an item and a price. <clears throat> then item equals line dot substring zero i plus one and price equals and we need to convert this from a string to a double so double dot parse double line dot substring i plus one and uh, we're going to do dot trim which will remove white space and uh, set total to total equals total plus price. So it will just keep adding up the numbers from each item. Um, <clears throat> okay, so if no column was found, then you skip the line. Uh, and if found, out.printf then you'll output, um, and this is where we get into actually formatting the output. Um, we'll do percent minus 20. We'll align it to the left and give it some spacing for the string. And then uh, percent 10.2, we'll give it a width of 10 and two decimal places. Um, F, and then we'll do a new line. And the item and price variables. Okay, so after we do that, then we can print this, the total. Once again, uh, 20, a width of 20, and 10 uh, for the number. And then we can also say just total. Okay, okay so that looks good. Um, and don't forget to close the objects here. And I'm gonna go ahead and run that. It'll ask you input file, input.txt, output.txt. <clears throat> and when you run that, you should get something that looks like this where 
it just took it skipped this line because there's not a colon here and it takes these and gives them a width of 20 and then puts the number here uh, with a width of 10 and it says uh, to just give it two decimal places for each one and then it puts the total at the bottom so it's a pretty useful program um, a couple other things just to keep in mind uh, so the format flags are what you use just to add some more flexibility and formatting when you output the strings from the file right here we used the dash which is um, that's for left alignment so that's how we got them all to line up right here so that's pretty useful um, you can also do these different things <clears throat> and so those are the format flags and right here uh, so this is these are the format types we use so s is string because the item is a string so that's what we have here and the f is a floating point number and you can use these other ones as well so those are good to know just um, when you're formatting the you're outputting a formatted string or um, formatted text then you have the exclamation mark then the flag and um, the the width and how many characters are in the field um, and yeah and then end with the format type so you know what you're working with so looks pretty good